All right, good morning, boys and girls. My name is Doug, and I am a lieutenant with Pinellas Suncoast Fire and Rescue District down in Indian Rocks Beach, as you can kind of see. I'm a fireman. I wish we could be in person this year to do some uh, talking about what I do, but just due to the current state of things, it's just not possible, but I hope you like my video. Anyway, as you can see, I have the majority of my firemen ensemble on. I'm not sure how well you can see this. I'm kind of doing a selfie video. Uh, but this is what we'd wear into a fire should we have one. You can note the pack on my back that's full of air. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this stuff off and I'm going to give you a little tour of our fire unit. So I am on a fire engine. Most people call them fire trucks, but a truck is actually one that has a ladder on top. They do a little bit different job than we do, but we all try to accomplish the same goals, which is helping people out. So I'm gonna flip this around real quick and I'm gonna give you a tour of our engine. All right, this is the cab of our fire engine. This is where I sit. Kind of like you're in teacher, I'm in charge for the day. We got a little computer up there. We get our calls on. In the back here where my firefighters sit, you can see their air pack is in their seat, just like mine was. And everybody's gear is staged and ready to go for if and when we get a call. So we carry lots of stuff on our fire truck. And I mentioned that we put out fires, but we do uh, EMS as well, emergency medical services. So if somebody's sick or hurt, this is the compartment that contains all of our equipment to help somebody out. And pretty much everything in here has to do with EMS, emergency medical services. As we move down the fire truck, we have some tools and equipment that we use on big buildings we call them high rises and we're moving down you can kind of see here these are like mini jaws of life we call them spreaders we have some saws back there some fans you move around the back we got all kinds of goodies up top i don't have time to go up there and show you but you can see up in here are some of the large hoses that we use to connect to fire hydrants. Down in here we have some more nozzles for our fire hoses and some other equipment. So I talked about a ladder truck or a fire truck versus a fire engine. Here are the only ladders that we carry. We carry two ladders in the back here and some other tools. Going around to the driver's side. We have some fire extinguishers, some life jackets because we're always around water here. We have some, what we call forcible entry tools, some axes and a halligan that we use to open doors with, a big sledgehammer, a broom, that type of stuff. And here we have what's called the engineer's compartment. He's basically the one that flows water and gives us water when we need to put out a fire. So all these levers right here move up and down and he can control these and give us more water, less water, give other people water. And here's the hose that we use the majority of the time to put out fires. They're strapped in so they don't fall out. And here's where we hook up to a fire hydrant. And then we come back over here to where our driver sits. So that's pretty much it. I'll give you a quick walkthrough. My video is not supposed to be that long. This is the rest of our fire station. We have a small rescue boat. Since we're on the water down on Indian Rocks Beach. We have a small utility vehicle and this lets us drive out on the beach and, and uh, help patients if they need it. This is our chief's car. 
he also runs out of the station and he's basically like the big boss for the day and he's in charge of the rest of us and any big calls we have he can come out and help us so i'm about out of time but let me flip this back over and just let you know that i'm happy that you guys are back in school i wish you the best i hope you have a great year Hopefully next year, if some of you are still, I can come visit in class and we can do a little fire safety presentation. But other than that, I figured I would just show you what I do on a daily basis. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you.